Hey, what's going on? b Stab Fishing Nation, what's happening? So I am getting ready to rock and roll and head down to Avalon to jump on board the Diamond Jig Charters. Oh yeah, I got some new Diamond Jig swag going on here. This is awesome, right? Captain Jerry gave me my, uh, I got a new shirt for the season. So today I'm literally going to be mating aboard the Diamond Jig, okay? I don't know who I'm mating with, but um, yeah, I'm doing some first mate duty. So uh, today is a legit work day. So uh, just something I'm, I'm doing. I'm not going into the profession of, of being a, a mate on a boat because to be quite honest with you, I live an hour away from the shore and I'm retired. I don't want to work that hard. Those dudes hustle and I mean hustle. So uh, but Captain Jerry and I are best pals, and he asked if I want to come uh, come on board to mate, to actually literally mate. So, which means somebody needs me. I got to put my pot, you know, reel up and, and put my rod down. So, oh well, let's see what how this works out. But, uh, guys, I have a prediction. This is going to be one hell of a trip, and the reason I'm predicting this. Well, because yesterday was tough. And the last day we were literally out yesterday. And of course, the videos are spaced out like today's, uh, what is today? Today is July 28th, uh, so it's Thursday. Yesterday was tough, man. We struggled. We had our boy, uh, uh, our patron Jimmy on board, and I got to go out. And, and pretty much, I helped out, but I was just, you know, board fishing with Captain Jerry and his uh, his patron. But uh, it was tough, man. We struggled. We really did. We struggled. I got a feeling today, I don't know why, but I think it's going to break wide open. So, um, just, just, oh, <laughs> fingers crossed, everybody, right? So, again, listen, um, again, I, I wasn't looking for sympathy. I wasn't looking for um, anything other than, hey, just listen, I, I'm, I'm Bob. Like, right, this is me. This is what we're going through in life. And sometimes... You know, we, we got to worry medically and hope, hope our health is okay. And I had, you know, I don't want to say a scare, uh, but I was scared, you know. And uh, luckily, the same day I made the video, I literally, as I was leaving uh, Jerry's, Captain Jerry's Marina, I uh, I got notified that everything came out good. I got my, my test results. Thank you, Jesus, that everything came out okay. Get worried, you know. You know, all of a sudden you, you hear people, you know, my age and younger and or whatever. I don't care if you're 70, 80 years old, you're humming along, everything's great. And then all of a sudden, bang. One bad test and, you know, all of a sudden your world turns upside down. But thank God, everything's good. Um, that being said, man, I had people reach out between on here, on YouTube, uh, text messages, inboxing me on Facebook. because so I now have the B-Staff Fishing Facebook page. We're working on that. Obviously, you find me on Instagram, B-Staff Fishing on Instagram. Thank you. Um, you guys are wonderful. You know, the prayers and the well, well wishes to make sure everything came out okay was, um, meant the world. So, all right, let's get out there. Let's get fishing and let's cross our fingers that today's a better day. I got a feeling. I just got this feeling it's going to break loose. So like, subscribe. Thank goodness for the prayers to the man upstairs. Let's go fishing. Guys, sometimes it's more important to keep our environment clean. And this is one of the things we like to do out here. These mylar balloons. People, don't release your mylar balloons. Stay just like that, sir. Don't release your mylar balloons. Damn yeah, shot. Happy birthday, somebody. People, please do not release your balloons into the air. You don't realize the impact these have on the environment. I can't tell you how many times we fish balloons and the line that's with them out of the water think of the turtles and the seabirds and the fish please take your balloons inside enjoy them pop them throw them out people don't release do not release your bag your air your balloons please don't don't do it no You're in good shape dude Hey, you were good too. You were on the bottom. You're definitely on the bottom. You did good. 
All right, I'm gonna bring yours up a little bit so I can see what he's got. I was the first to hook up, so I handed my rod off to my pal, John, here. He wasn't feeling really good, but you would have never known it. The dude is a rock. Feeling? And just swing it to me. Oh, that's a sundial. Oh, you don't see sundial though. No. That's oh, that cold, was a sundial. That's a cold weather. That's, cold that's weather cold weather. There. So, what, what that is, it's in the flounder family, but it's called a sundial. When you look at them, the reason they're called a sundial is because you hold them up, you see right through them. Like, they also call them window panes. Oh. You see right through them, there's no meat on them. Good job, bud. Good I've job. That, I've done that he big bush call, too, he, he hit that big, that big rub. Yep. All right, so, so do me a favor, reel yours up, reel all the way up, both of you reel all the way up and drop all, drop down again, we'll reset. Good job, bud. And you did nothing wrong with that thing popping off, you see how small it, his mouth is about that big. There's a good possibility. No, oh, no, no, and there's, so there's no limit on those, right? They're not really regulated, but there's no meat on them, that's why. The only thing they're good for, honestly, is bait, and I don't like killing a fish just to kill it. So, yep, you reel all the way up. All right, you're good from there, and you can let it go right back down like you did. And you were good, too, brother, because when I grabbed your rod, you were on the bottom. You were fine. Right. Lady luck. There you go. Yep. Lady luck. There you go. 15 inches. Good? Yep. You got the number, Jerry? Captain Jerry? All right. How about that? You're sending back. You're sending one back. Somebody catches that. They grab that tag and they turn it in, oh, and it gets cool. to be recorded. Yep, yep, yep. They'll say, you know, hey, we're recording how big, how big he is, where he was caught, right? right. And then whoever catches him next. How long hope, is that, Bob? Oh no, I forgot. Fifteen inches, Captain Jerry. Yep. Captain Jerry's been doing this most of his life. All right, I want to get well up front to see uh, in the community when it comes to fishing and hunting. So much so that he was just invited to be on a flounder and striper uh, committee for the state. And he's also involved in a tagging program. So we'll record that fish's Darren, location right where you, it was caught, the length, the man. and you, the date. And we tag it and release it. Right. Hopefully it's caught another day. And we get more information on how it grew. We put it Successful flounder fishermen know that you got to be on structure. And we are on some structure. You need to fish over it, around it, on the leeward side, between them. But you got to be there. And we just hit some serious structure. Reel up. Yep. What's that? You're both caught? All right, let me see what you got here. <coughs> All three? Are you? Yeah, yeah, come up a little bit. Yep, yep, yeah, that's exactly right. Are you backing down, Jerry? No. Okay. Yeah, I can't do rides. Oh, I can. I love them. Oh, not me. Nope. I know. Nope. We, I'll throw up on the teacups. <laughs> How you doing up there, Sam? Yeah. We love this one ride. Oh, my God. My son is Your bait okay, bud? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, it could be a shark cameo he's been talking about. Got it down here. Yeah, right. Flounder. Wow. It's a big, it's a Flounder. Yeah, all right, all right. So what I'm going to need you, don't take his head out of where. Bring him up a little bit more, right? And back him, pull him right in. Boom, we got up. Oh, oh, all right, keep coming. All right, wait, wait, wait. Yep, come on up and bring him right to me. We got him. There we go. Good job. That's a keeper, Daddy-o. Woo, my man Sam. I knew it, man. I knew Sam was. Oh man. Sam, we haven't. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, on the squid. On the squid. Go ahead, brother. Get a good picture of him. Yeah, buddy. Yes, sir. Man, we get him in the boat. Yeah, let's not lose. Woo, man, Sam. I'll tell you what. He saw the net and was like, "Adios, amigos, dude. I want no parts of that." Yeah. Sam, nice job, buddy. Said close to 40? Four. Four pounds. Four pounds. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Way to go, Sam the Silent Assassin. Sitting at the front of the boat. Got the first keeper on board. It just gets better from here, everybody. Yeah, he wasn't. Man. All right, so you. Yeah, didn't he? Oh, yes, you did. You. Yep. Wow, look at yeah, that. Yeah, buddy. Let me get you in the film. Let me get you in the film here a little bit. All right. Let me hold you right there. There you go. So, yeah. Let me get a good grip. Hold on. Okay. Hold him. Grab him right here. Grab him and pinch him real good right there with your fingers, just the way I have him. Pinch him good. Real hard, real tight. Yep. There you go. Yep. Here you go. You're good. Yep. Yeah, man. I got you. Oh, yeah. We're gonna, listen. If, good job, buddy. Good job. All right. Let me put him right in the cooler. Yep. Wait, can you take a picture of my phone? Yeah, sure I can. Sure I can. Just keep that grip on her. Pinch your fingers together. Man, buddy. Good job. All right, one, two, three. Hold on. Portrait. Yes. Yeah, you held them out good. All right, bro. Shut your, shut your phone down, too. Boom. Got them. My man. Pots and pans. Good job, man. Sammy. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. You know what, good, I think he missed it, good, no, you're good, you're good. Good job, Sam, I knew, I had a feeling Sam was going to be the one to break the ice up here. Yep. You know, when he turned around, he, Sam, he's nice and quiet, he's playing possum. Oh, you want me to jig? I said, oh, all right. All right. Good job, pal. I just thought about to do that two All right, right hand here, trigger finger. Yep. Handing off my new rod and reel to my new pal, Darren. What a solid dude. Here, put your legs up against here. Stay there and put your legs up. Keep running. Yep, you're good. Yeah, it felt like it felt pretty good. I don't know if it's a flounder, but. Oh, man, C. Robbins. Gosh, almighty. I'm, I'm the. Uh, keep that in the water. Yep. See, Robin, another, uh, not a good one. I had one the other day. It was the biggest one I ever saw. All right, just swing out to me. Good job. I hate these things. Don't even ask why I grab lip grippers for this little Sea Robin. I hate these things, but yeah, you guys can make fun of me in the comments down below. This is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, stand fast. John, I think that's what we caught the other day. And they sing. They yeah, sing they'll it. croak. They croak. They croak. Yep. They're like croakers. Oh, they croak, but then they got spikes in. Uh, any size, really. There's no limit on them. So that's a sea robin, everybody. Yeah. There you oh, go. That's prettier than the one you caught. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Look at see the little little yeah. creeper creeper things he's got on him. Yeah. Little fingers. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right, we good? Really fly that well though. <laughs> All right, brother. Let's see what else we can do. Good job. I got you. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am. All right. Be stab fishing nation. Not a keeper. You don't want the net cap? No. All right. No fish. No. with I gotta get rid of it. I gotta take it all out. Oh, we'll do oh, it. We'll take it off. We got it. We'll take it. I'll send the picture. All right. Well, I'll, take, I'll, take, well, I'll take the picture and send them out to you. Sorry. Okay, you take a picture and send it to me. Sorry, Bob. No worries. Oh, man, you bit me. Don't oh, worry, that damn fishy. Oh. All right, there we go. So, what you're gonna do? See how I have it? Yep. Just come right over top. Don't let them bite you. Pinch your fingers like you're trying to meet, touch your fingers together. Good. 
Good job. Woohoo, jeez. <laughs> Good job. All right. There you go, you can tackle. There you go. So we let Denise tag her own flounder. Take but that. boy, did we Shoot get her the good. Squeeze the handle, I'll just shoot it through it. Oh, I can't. Uh, Don't put my leg. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> no, I can't. We both did it. <laughs> I, I should have known you were going to do it too. Oh, that's great. That's just awful. Oh, good job, Denise. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's great. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's all. Awesome. Let me get by you, Jerry, so I can get in there and film her. That's awesome. Yeah, all right. All right, Denise. Lady Luck, let's on, go. Sammy, I'm going to have to beat you. you just, just keep exactly doing what you're perfect, doing what you're doing. We got some serious girl power on the boat with Denise aboard. <laughs> It's a boot. <laughs> lady boot. luck, lady yeah, luck. Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, son of a gun. Son of a gun. I quit. Yep, hold on. All right, keep it in the water for me. It's a little, no, it's a flying fish. Nah, it's, it's good. Got it, Cap? Okay. All right. Little sucker. <sighs> they are cute, though. They're cute. How's her bait? She bait her bait good? Yeah, right yep, she's good down below. All right. How do you know about my down below, Bob? Oh man, I, I don't wasn't gonna go there. It's a family channel. I'm trying to run here. <laughs> Did I mention I love this group? I absolutely love this group. We had so much fun this entire trip. Oh, that's me, yup. Oh, awesome. What's your name? Bill, nice to meet you. I'm Bob. Seven and seven. Seven and seven, right? Yeah, that's what I got. Literally had a fan, Bill, pull up to the diamond oh, awesome. jig and ask if I was on board. Oh, wow, awesome. That was awesome. Nice that made my you. day. Thanks, Bill. Man, I saw the hit on that. Let's see. All right. You're good. Let's come up. Let's come up. Let's see. Good one, Bobby. Yep, good yep, one. yep. Okay. Say so just like that. Now walk, walk backwards. Walk backwards. Oh, right over it went. All right, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Man, I can't get this damn fish. Got, got. All right. You can release the bail for a little bit. Good. 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 Man. You got one. God, that was a good fish. God, man, I'll tell you what. We're making this for some great video. Except I look like crap on the net here. God almighty. God almighty, look at this. Yeah, that's a good one. So. Yeah? All right, hold on. I think it's good one. Good one? Okay. Good job. Did I say it was going to get a little bit on the uh, fast and furious side? You're darn right I did. Captain Jerry's got a nice one on. Awesome. If not, leave it. I'll come get it. God almighty. I hate this net. Another good one. Oh, boy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. Well, meat, baby. Oh, 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 oh. You gotta get dinner tonight, man. If your captain isn't as excited as you are about catching fish, you're on the wrong boat. And to tell you what kind of gentleman Captain Jerry Lynch is, he right away got on the radio and called Captain Jim Lutz of Never Enough over to our location. And I've been out there and I've heard it on the radio when Captain Jim has done the exact same thing for Jerry. All gentlemen. Good job, everybody. Come on, my man. All right, let's see what you got here. Let's get him out first, okay? Oh, he's deep. Yep, that's All why right. I didn't get him. Okay, let me get this clear first. You're hanging on to him. You're doing a great job there. Do, 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 do. So I use Gamagatsu 3-0 or 4-0 bait holder hooks and right. they're awesome they hang on to the fish pretty well but these bait holder hooks that captain jerry is using i'm going to tell you what they put me to task i had a hard time getting them out of the fish but guess what the fish has a hard time shaking loose with these i'm good yeah i can see it it's not that deep 
Maybe yeah, roof. Can't stick your fingers yeah, in, roof. Yeah, roof of the mouth, kind of deep. That's all. It's a great hook set. Whew, man, that was some drama, brother. Woo! What's that? Yeah, that's a good fish there, Jer. I can't get this bitch. He don't want to come out. There we go. There it goes. There it is. It's better. I got how to get it free. Can we get another piece of squid, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nice job. Catch him now. Nice job. There we go. Man. God almighty. He's still jammed up. Good job, good job. Yeah! Captain Jerry, that's a, there are two slabs right there, guys. Nice fish. Good job. That was a nice fish, bud. That's what we wanted. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude, it's been, it's been, it's been really rough. It's, it's really rough, been rough. Okay, let me uh, bring them on in. Everybody up. I'll get you rebaited. But right now, guys, I'm the master baiter. Oh, uh, here we go. Sorry. Yes. Cap, you guys are. Yeah, oh man. I'm leaving that in there. I'm going to let all my fans know what I got to deal with now when I work. We had so much fun on this, on this charter. But keep in mind, Captain Jerry said something. This is where Sam's first keeper fish was caught. Nothing else produced then. However, Jerry brought us right back to this spot later on in the day. Because he knew it would turn on. And sure enough, his prediction paid off. All right, guys. So you'll notice this boat we just kind of called over. It's one of Captain Jerry's real good friends. Well respected. I was telling you about never enough. Yeah, no, no. So he's the one with the three the three boats. All, oh, they're all the same boats. Like Captain Jerry's, they're all duskies. Great people. Wonderful people. Diabetes. Right. Oh, God. They're down there, guys. Get ready. I just got hit. So you guys have heard me talk about Captain Mike and Captain Ian on the Never Enough. Well, the gentleman piloting this boat is Captain Jim Lutz, the owner of Never Enough. A gentleman through and through. I got 63 degrees. Come on, Yep. All right, guys. Beast staff fishing nation. I just so put a nice flounder in the box. Had, uh, I thought it was a skate. Was I'm hoping and praying that my camera was on. Deep, so it was a nice uh, fight. We'll see. They stayed. They started at like midnight, and they're out of Montauk, and they're. All right, guys. Everybody else, keep jigging, and they're um, they're catching some serious stripers all night long, all night long. We are recording, Captain Jerry. 100% recording. Another good one. That's when I thought it was a skate when it did that flip. Good job, Jerry. All a day on. What a difference. What a difference a day makes, Cap. God almighty. What a difference a day makes, and that difference is you. Keep. Uh, took the meat, huh? Yeah. All right, we got another one. Get out there, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> Stop yelling. Stop yelling. Let's go. Woohoo! Flounder. So. <clears throat> I already got mine. <laughs> Jer, second one on, Jer. Alright, All right, so just lift them straight up to me, right? Oh gosh almighty. Alright, hang tight. Yep, he's short. Okay. Alright, give me some slack. You the man, you the man? Good job. Let me get you right back down you because, because we're in them. Oh, yeah, they, they're yep. done. You know, they're going. They're going. They're going. They're going. They're going. Sir, you want the other net? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. He's coming. Man, these, he's going, these hooks don't want to come out. Yeah, he's going. He's going. He's going. He's going. 
You're back down? Yeah, I think he makes him. Okay. That looks like the biggest one. That might be a, that might be a slot, right? I don't know. Yeah, we got to start looking for slot fish now. <clears throat> this one here is short. No, not that one. That but yeah, that second one could go. We're going to have to measure that one. Nice. Nice. Diamond Jig Charters, Captain Jerry Lynch. Good job, Cap. I mentioned John earlier. He wasn't Beast feeling well. Fishing nation. But my man the never sudden, stopped and fishing. Never gave up. He just put one. one in the box. Good job, okay. brother. Okay. So what needs to be done here? I'll let you... Take it right through. Take it right through it right here? Take it back here. Mm -hmm. Jam it in all the way through. Okay. Hit it all the way through and squeeze the trigger. Okay. Good to go. Hey, I got the yeah. tag of fish. You got the numbers, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How's that one, Jer? That's uh, 17 and a half. Right? Yep. Slop fish. Captain. You want me to tag them? <laughs> yeah, we're tagging them. We're going to tag them and bag them. Good job, Flounder. We got a cooler full of Flounder, baby. Nice job, everybody. All right, get them up, folks. I really can't say enough about John. What a trooper. My man just didn't feel good, but he never quit. All right, guys, let's go, man. We're putting them. We got a full box. Me and Captain Jerry are going to be busy filleting. Okay, here comes another one, guys. Get ready. Oh, God. Be, be ready, guys. I was getting clobbered. God, man, did you see that tip? Jeez, Louise. Oh, he's back. No, he's not. You don't want to be able to one mile an hour. Good. That's what I get the drone work for. I can right, see that so I got the angles so with that oh, all around going the same way, right? Um, you gotta try and make everything work together. Right, right. Go ahead, Bob. Go ahead, Bob. Don't kiss take one way about it. Shit, dude. You want me? You, you want me to hand you my rod, Captain Jerry? No. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you want it? <laughs> no, it's a sea bass. What is that? Look at that sea bass. Did we didn't catch one all day, did we? No. no. Sea bass. Holy mackerel. She's little. That's nice, Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on the fish. Oh God. Congratulations on your little fish, little Bobby. Oh man. <laughs> she spit on it. <laughs> <laughs> These get enormous. You'd be, you'd be a help. Enormous. You know, you'd, be, you'd be really surprised if he spit back. Oh, yeah. I, listen, that's why I'm keeping his uh, ass pointed ball. the other way. He threw up on you. Yep. All right. I'm on it. I'm on it. I got it, Captain Jerry. I'm running. Hold on. He's good. He's got 60 yards feet of. Oh, boy. Here we come. Let me make sure I'm recording. Oh, yep. Who is it? The silent assassin? Team in order. All right. That's a little yeah. small one. Well, now he might he might be a. Uh, oh my God! They are oh. jumping all over the place. All right, hang on one second. Good thing you got that on camera. Woo! I'll, I'll send him to net school next week. Don't worry yeah. about it. Man, did you see that thing just leap over the net? You have I got that on film. Yeah, he's tiny. It's all right. All right, you take yourself easy there. Carriage be good. My man, good job. Let me get rid of this net. No, oh, he smacked me right in the leg. God almighty. Him, yep. I get him to stay still for a second here. God almighty. They do not want to be in the boat, that's for sure. <laughs> they want no parts of being up here. Man, look how Almost good you got, got him. Look. Oh, yeah, you got him good. I gotta hold them just like that. Keep pinch. Good. All right, let me get this slop off my hands. Home's good. Yeah, keep the. Yeah, lose that. Yeah. All right. All right, on three. One, two. There you keep Stay just where you are. Push him out to me. You the man. Yeah, we're gonna tie that one. Let right, me come up here. Oh, we're good. We're good. I got him. No sweat. No sweat. Here, grab your phone. I'll grab the fish. What's that? 13. 14. 
16? Okay. <clears throat> Staying on top? There he goes. There he goes. We got a new today, baby. Yeah. Captain Jerry, put us on the meat. All right, baby. <laughs> All right, B staff fishing. Uh oh, B staff fishing nation. What a day, guys. What a day. So, we uh, had six flounder, beefy, big flounder that we brought to the table. They left with two big Ziploc bags of meat. It was an awesome day. Super nice people. Uh, the best time I ever had out on the water, honestly, in between uh, with me, Cap Captain Jerry. They were so much fun. Thank you, thank you so much, John and Diane, Darren, and my main man, Sam. Guys, thank you so much. You're more than generous. You guys are super wonderful people. I am looking, I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to your next trip out. Guys, like, subscribe. Let the man upstairs know you're saying your prayers. Go fishing. What? A difference a day makes. Man, the fish we're chewing today. John, Denise, Darren, Sam, guys and lady, thank you so much. You made today so much fun, so memorable. It was an absolute pleasure being the first mate on your fishing charter today. And I can't wait to the next time you guys are out with us. Cheers.